And now to assemble the souffle. But we have a problem with the previous recipe. We have some worn out parts and I suspect we also have some parts that were put together wrong. So worn out parts first. Really bad bearing surfaces. They need to be re replaced. This one's also bad. Uh, luckily, we did have some cones around and I truly mean luck. There's a lot of different uh, things going on. The diameter here is good and they are as tall as one another. They both take a quarter inch ball bearing. Those radiuses match. That's all going to be wonderful. This is a little bit of an issue. That's a pressed seal. We've got to transfer that over. This is the fun part. So this was drive side, this was drive side. Those two don't belong together. Belongs to this. These two go together. So you can see the corners in there. These corners line up with that. That provides a nice little path where the dirt can't get in, it has to go through all those corners. So I think that, that's correct. This is for the rotor side, the, the non-drive side. This has got to come out, taking things apart, often the easy, easy part. So I'm going to support that ca the, uh, the dust cap with the socket here, center it up and out. There we go. Now we have to put one in. Started gently, gently. A little more. We have enough to get to our wrench flats. I think we're gonna be good here. So there's our, our new one. And now to the hub. We're gonna use some grease for the bearings and plenty of it. How much grease? Lots. A couple of reasons why. You're creating a nice bed for the bearings to sit. It actually is an assembly compound, if you will. It's an assembly feature. It's gonna provide adhesion for the bearings. When are we gonna to get to see this user again? It's been two or three years, so yes, we need to have a big pile of grease in there to last that long. So new bearings inside. There were nine per side, and I'm gonna try and drop these in that curve of the cup, the ball path of the cup. more on the outside that seats them in, glues them. In essence, we're gluing those things down for now. And this one, we're gonna put the, the rubber seal on. On this side, nice and easy. And we're gonna go to this side. Nice bed of grease and more new bearings. I wasn't counting. Oh, I can't. With the correct amount, one more will not go in without shoving up another one. So basically here, it's as many as will lay flat. So here, the labyrinth is up. We're gonna try and push that in gently. Not quite. There we go. Gently around the edge, because that'll make it flush there. We don't wanna go in the middle and dent things. We need now to put the axle together. Grease on the threads. Symmetrical. Threads and threads looks the same. Rule of thumb. The side with more spacers gets more thread. Sometimes that's the sprocket side, sometimes it's the non-sprocket side. So now our spacer. Now a lock nut. They're the same. Teeth to the outside. These have teeth on both sides. That way it bites into the frame and holds. We don't want too much protrusion. Had I been clever, I would have measured before. Hold the cone and tighten this. It's pretty tight. Oh, tight. This is going to be considered the fixed side. Our adjustment is done from the other side. No need to put grease here. We got lots of grease inside. 
turning on the bearings. That's nice. Yes, imagine grease over here. And that is for the other cone. It's just going to push it back down. Let's see what the axle protrusion looks like and see if I'm horribly off. Yep. Problem. A lot and a little. So I'm going to back this out a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to tighten it down again. Come at it from the other side. Tight. Not bad. Little protrusion, a little protrusion. It's going to sit in the frame. Beautiful. Now we need to get the adjustment right. We want it not too loose. We want it not too tight. Something in the middle, more of an al dente. But that I think we will pick up next time we meet. Our masterly machine manipulator nears the end of his reassembly task. But does he have the necessary fortitude to accurately adjust the hub? Or will mean old Mr. Friction get the best of him? You'll have to tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion to Kelvin's Hub Adventure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.